Warren Buffett's concern, but I can't get answers, no more, I'm sure. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we're here in Adobe Audition, and we're going to take a look at the good old auto-tuning functionality we have in Audition. Uh, this is the automatic pitch correction here under Effects, Time and Pitch, Automatic Pitch Correction. It's been here since, I believe it was Audition CS6, so if you have any newer copy of Audition, you're going to have this effect. Now, some of the pitch corrections, like manual pitch correction, pitch bender, stretch and pitch, those are process effects, which means that we would have to double click into our vocal track, which is this track, in order to apply them. However, I'm going to go back to my multi-track view. This is not that type of effect. The auto pitch correction can be applied right to the effects rack, this, this area right over here. So we don't even need to go into the audio clip itself to apply our automatic pitch correction. Now, before I apply this, I should just play for you a brief portion of the vocals. This is just a karaoke track of Jason Mraz's I'm Yours song. And I did sort of my little take of a YouTube adpocalypse song is what I'm calling it to the tune for I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. So I'll bring it out here to like here and let's see what we got. And even Warren Buffett's concerned, but I can't get... That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and apply some auto-tune and see what we can do. So I'm going to come up here to effects. I'm going to come time and pitch, and I'm going to go automatic pitch correction. And you can see here it's dropped it onto our effects rack over here. And there's a few different presets. Uh, they're kind of limited in terms of what you've got. Uh, but I do uh, believe that I'm Yours by Jason Mraz is in C major. I know a little bit about music, but I'm not that good with it. I played guitar for a few years. Um, but I'm pretty sure that I'm Yours is C major. So I'm going to try to auto-tune my voice to the C major. And what I can do here is I can move my playhead and I can begin playing through this. And this little up and down bouncing bar is going to kind of show me how much it's correcting. Yeah, the YouTube apocalypse I felt so it's doing a little bit. Um, I want this to be really extreme, though, because maybe I'm not really doing this for myself at this point. I'm doing it to show you guys just how extreme this can be. So I'm going to crank the attack and sensitivity all the way up. This is going to start to give us more of that, like, pop, hip-hop, over-modulated vocal sound that you hear in a lot of songs these days. Let's check it out. Yeah, the YouTube apocalypse, I felt it used to have good odds, but... So you can hear that, but... In C major, it kind of sounds really bad. It sounds like I'm flattening off the top of a lot of uh, the vocals that are coming through. And the, the track without auto-tune uh, auto sounds bad enough. They've been augmented. Right? I'm just, I'm really trying too hard to sing. I'm, I felt it, it just doesn't sound very good. But it arguably sounds worse with the auto-tune. So what's going on here? Well, in general, when you come in here to automatic pitch correction, uh, you want to play around with what's going on here. And I found that going to B major was actually better than C major. It just kind of works with the track better. But knowing that I'm Yours is in the key of C, I knew I had to make some other adjustments. And the adjustment that I made was down here to calibration A4. So the calibration A4, basically, not to get too technical here, but it specifies the tuning standard for the source audio, the stuff we got here in the vocal track. In most music in the Western side of the world, the standard is A4 at 440 hertz, which is exactly where Audition has placed me. Sometimes, however, the source audio has been fouled up, not really fouled up, but just like in my case, it's probably fouled up because of my vocals, right? I'm not a very talented vocalist. So it's almost as if it's been recorded to a different standard, if you will. And you can specify different A4 values from 410 to 470. So leaving this in the major scale in the key of C, I can reduce this to 410 and we will get an entirely different sounding effect. In fact, it sounds pretty decent. Well, we've heard that uh, that that line. Let's go to the next line here. I can relax before I have to shut down and that line where I say relax, it's really kind of brutal. Let's shut off. Let's shut off auto tune and listen to what it sounds like without that fixing. I think I can relax before it's kind of rough. And if I turn it on, it just smooths everything I right out. I can relax before I have to shut and of course, it has the over modulatedness because we've cranked up the attack and the sensitivity way beyond where they should go. But I think for now, we've done what we can do with the automatic pitch correction. We'll close this. The effect is still there on our rack. And let's just uh, we'll add a little bit more to this. We'll go up to effects and we will go reverb and we'll throw some studio reverb on this. And I'm just going to use the vocal reverb large room effect. This is going to really just add a little boominess to the effect and just really help complete this and make me sound like 
I have some level of competence when it comes to uh, vocal skills, but don't get ahead of yourselves. It's still pretty bad. So there you go. A little automatic pitch correction, a little studio reverb on top of it. And the auto-tuning tools in Audition, they're, they're okay. I mean, it's not, it's not incredibly uh, high-end and top shelf, but it really you can really, really do a lot with them. And it's something that maybe I'm saying that because I haven't spent a, an incredibly massive amount of time mastering and you know lining up and laying down track after track after track, but there's a lot you can do with it. And oh, by the way, you got even more power at your disposal if you go to the manual pitch corrector, which is, again, a process effect, so it has to be done in the clip itself. But there's a ton you can do with that in terms of controlling exactly what parts of your vocal track go up or down or get shifted this way or that way to really go in and match with the music that you're playing. So we're going to head out of this tutorial and at the very end, you can check out this full verse if you're interested in sticking around and checking it out. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you mess around and play with auto-tuning in Adobe Audition.